Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord wherever you are. It's a beautiful day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. In the month of April, you're talking about the heart of the Father. And you're just looking at how much He desires. And today we are saying He wants you. He wants you. And we look at Romans 8.32. I mean Romans 8.39 actually. We give 32 but we're going to read that Romans 8.39. It says this, No height, no depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Jesus Christ our Lord. My dear friends, as we look back at this, uh, and look back at our journey of salvation, look at the journey we have been with the Lord all through, we look at Good Friday and we look at the fact that He gave His Son because He loved us so much. He gave His Son an eternal and a perfect sacrifice. We now look at a day, today we are looking at something else, which is that in, his, in the giving of His Son, He made a way that was a permanent way into His love. That nothing separates us. In other words, God made a system that was foolproof. And this foolproof system is because of how much he wants to be with you. It's how much he wants you to be with him. And we always forget that God is so good in his, in, 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 in his relationship with us that he does the extra things that ensure that you are connected to him always. I only say that in life when you come to a place where you realize that God wants you, more than anything else, he wants you and was willing to do whatever it takes to have you. Then my dear friends, it's easy for you to move God to a place in your life where you can boldly say that God is more than enough. You can boldly say that God is number one in your life. But this only comes through the understanding that he made a way to ensure that nothing separates you. Why is there nothing separates you? Because the price which was paid was an eternal price. Because the death of Jesus is an eternal death. It's an eternal sacrifice that covers the past, the present, and the future. It's a sacrifice that, can't be, that cannot be um, undone or deleted. So God says, listen, I want to be with you so much. And because I just want you, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to have you. And to ensure that nothing separates me from you. Therefore, even when your humanity comes, even when difficulties come, don't sit and doubt how much I want you. Don't sit and doubt how much he wants to be with you or how much he loves you. No matter the situation, there's a constant that remains in your life. My prayer for you this wonderful morning is that you can be able to open up your eyes and see the constant of this love. When you see the constant of this love, it gives you confidence every day. But if he loved me already, he can't deny me now. If he loved me before I was born, he can't deny me now. If he loved me through every season of my life, he can't deny me now. Then I begin to see the constant of his hand through every season. When I see the constant of his hand through every season, my brothers and sisters, it becomes easy for me to say, Father, you are more than enough. And when I have you, I have everything. I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to be at the right place at the right time. I don't have to know the Bible of it. I don't have to know how to pray. I just need to know one thing, that you wanted me to be with you so bad and you made an eternal um, connection between me and you that nothing separates us. Even when I am out of touch, nothing separates me. And that's peace. And that's the strength we get. That's why we get our confidence to push and ask God for our miracles. Let us pray today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the gift of life, the gift of your Holy Spirit, the gift of your faithfulness, Lord. I think that, Lord, you made a way where there was no way. You created a system that, Lord, we can be able to be with you throughout eternity, Lord. And, Father, if you made a way by giving us your Son, you made a way that we can access you. And through your love, Lord, we can be able to seek and ask whatever we need. I pray for whoever doubts because of where they are in their lives today about how much you love them. I pray that, Lord, may the power of your love awaken in their lives. That, Lord, they can be able to believe wherever they are, whatever situation they are in. That, Lord, your love is an indelible mark, Lord. It cannot be deleted. It can't be taken away. And that through your love, you're able to set them free, to heal them, to, de to deliver them, Lord, to set them free, Almighty Father, to promote them, to increase them because of the goodness of your love. I pray, Lord, for your sons and daughters today, Lord, may your love permeate every part of their lives and may the power of your love manifest in whatever prayer needs they have. In Jesus' name we pray in thanksgiving. Amen. Do stay blessed, my, my dear friends. See you again next time, same time. Remember, he loves you. And in his love for you, he ensured nothing separates you. So no matter where you are, the one thing you should never doubt is how much God loves you. Because through his love is where the power comes. Stay blessed.